So my name is Benjamin Butterworth. I'm a senior reporter for the I newspaper, and I'm here at Brussels main train station. Where, if you look in the background, there you go. It's the inaugural journey of the European sleeper train. So this is going to take passengers tonight from Brussels, where it is at about 7 p.m. tonight, and in Berlin, I will arrive just before 7 a.m. It's going to go through various stations, including Amsterdam in the middle. Now, the big thing this means for us back home in Britain is that you can now get on the train at King. Cross St Pancras at about 3 p.m. and wake up just before 7 a.m. in Berlin. It's a much cheaper option than flying often is, with flights to Berlin really quite expensive around June, July, August time, and it's also a far more environmentally conscious way. In fact, just today, the government of Brussels has announced that it's paying for some of the costs of services like this. Now, if you're not desperate to go to Berlin by train, they're looking at extending it to Prague by next year and to the south of France and even Barcelona by 2025 or 2026. So, let's see, is this the way forward? We've left Brussels, but on our way through Belgium, through the Netherlands, and to wake up in Berlin. There's only one thing for it. Cheers. Right, it's sleep time on the sleeper train. Oh, okay, so I've just woken up on the sleeper train. Well, it's a night train, that's for sure. How much of a sleeper is up for debate? It does rock around a lot, it is noisy, it's an old train. And so, I wouldn't say you'd get this if you wanted the perfect night's sleep. But hey, it's pretty cool to wake up in Germany. We've just arrived here at Berlin after the inaugural sleeper train from Brussels to the German capital. And here is the train with lots of its excited passengers still behind me. You were woken up by a complimentary cup of tea, by breakfast of Nutella and crackers, and it's exciting to wake up in a new city.